So hey guys, today I'm going to solve my Rubik's Cube pretty damn easy. So please keep watching my video. Of it's so damn easy. So hey guys, let's get started. So first, I'll just teach you some of the basic things. Uh, you just need to know the opposite colors. Okay, first, this is yellow color. This is yellow and um, white. White and yellow are always opposite colors. Green and blue are always opposite colors. Orange and red are also always opposite colors. So all the uh, this is the white centipedes, and all the white is supposed to come over here. Blue are all this is blue centipedes. All the blue are supposed to come over here, and it's the same thing for everything. Okay, so now uh, in, uh, we'll be solving the Rubik's cube really easy. Just for uh, like in thirty seconds, we'll be solving it. And uh, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to solve the Rubik's cube using formulas, and the formulas are really easy to buy hard, and also uh, really easy to work out. So um, let's. I'll just tell you what all are the like. How do we do the formulas? Okay, there are like so many um, things that represent the formulas, like u, u prime r. I'll tell you what are what all are these. Okay, so first let's uh, start with um, u and u prime. Okay, uh, this is the top layer. This is called u. Okay, like the up one. Okay, this is u, and if uh, u means moving to the right side. And uh, u prime means it's just the opposite, like this. Okay. Now, uh, uh, now f is face or front. Okay. It means you have to move it to the right side again. Um, and uh, f prime means it's just the opposite. That means to the left side. Okay. Prime is just the same for everything, just the opposite. Now r, r means right. It means the right side. This layer you have to move. Uh, we have to move it backwards. And uh, left is just the opposite, like this left thing. For left, you have to move it downwards, okay? And for prime, I said, right? It's just the opposite, like that. Now, uh, back, for back, you just need to move the back layer towards the left side, okay? So, we have fa finished all the uh, uh, things that represent the formulas. So, now, le let's get started. So, first, before using the formulas, we need to find... A yellow centipede so here we have found a yellow centipede and we need to put white uh, four whites over, one over here one over here one over here and one over here so for that we need to just randomly put four whites okay so we have just found just just put some white like this and just randomly i guess my cube is a little bit greasy today so it's not really easy to move so just find it okay now okay so now, as you as you filled all the four, uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I just make it easier. Okay, so now we've got the yellow in the center, white, 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 white like this. We've got like a cross, except that yellow is in the center. So we need to uh, we need to make it uh, we need to make a whole white cross. For that, what do we do? Is here we've got white and blue. We have to bring blue over here. For that, just uh, just rotate this two. Um, you know the two down thing just rotate it and now we've got a blue and a blue now just bring this blue down that means just move it twice to the left side like one two now go to the next one you've got the red is already set just so just move it twice down one two and next you've got a blue or green white and green so green is also already set just move it one two and next you've got this is also already set so just move it down okay so now we've got the whole or uh, white cross now we just need to fill all these four corners for that let's find a white piece um okay fine i found a one okay i found a white piece over here okay so this is white and blue so this blue has to come um like okay if the you have found a white piece so what is the next uh, like this piece is white and blue so you need to bring this blue to the center piece of blue for that, just move it like this. Okay, see? Now we've bought it. Like blue, we've bought it over here. Now, if a look, whether uh, which of these four spaces is this white closest to? Obviously, it's closest to this one. So, if you put it over here for that, just move it like this and put this layer down. Uh, keep it back and put it up. Okay? Let's search for another white. Um, okay, fine. We've got another white over here. Now this is white and green, so move this into the green centerpiece and move this white over here. For that, just move it, put this layer down, 
can keep it back and put it up. Okay. Now we've got um, now that's fine for another white piece. Okay, we have found another white piece. This is white and red. So go to the red centipede because we've got red red over here. Put it over here. It's just like that. It's easy, right? Just fill everything like that. Okay. If you don't, if you think that I'm a little fast, you can just rewind and then look again, or you can see the whole video and then see the video again. Okay, because this is one of the easiest methods, so you should never change it just because I'm saying fast. Okay. Now what you want to do is, uh, you have to fill the wow. We have we have finished the whole first row because this, I mean, one color. This is a very big achievement because nobody can do it without using seeing using formula, and. If you have to do it without using the formulas, you need to be really brainy. So, if you did this much, you're really brainy, okay? So, now what you need to do is, uh, see, I've got a T like this, and another T like this, and another T like this of different colors. So, now you need to make uh, the second row complete for that. Just flip it down, like the white has to come down. Now, search for a piece without yellow. Like this piece is white, yellow, and blue. So, it has yellow. This is yellow and red, so it has yellow. So let's look for a one without a yellow. Here we've got red and blue, so it doesn't have a yellow. Now move this red towards this red center piece. Okay, so I have moved it over here. Okay, now it's time for using the formula. So the first formula that I would like to tell you is that see, you can see a blue on top. So this blue is the blue center piece on the right side or the left side of the cube. Is it on the right side or is it on the left side? Obviously, it's on the left side of the cube. So you need to use the left formula. So uh, just on your with your pencil, just write this formula and I'll just recite it. Okay. U prime L prime U L U F U prime F F prime. And if you think just it's I'm just fast, just pause it or just go back and then see it again. Okay. Uh so Let's uh, just apply the formula. If you want, I'll just do it for the first time. I'll just do it slowly. Okay, so let's apply the formula. U prime. Uh, I mean, sorry, that's U. Okay, U prime L prime U L U F U prime F prime. Okay, so if uh, so after doing the formula, you might have been uh, you might have a confusion that did I do it right or did I do it wrong. So to avoid that confusion, just flip it around and you can see the white one is complete again. Okay, so the next color, let's go for the next color. Uh, we have found. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, let's check some color. Never mind, I'm just doing something in between, it's okay. Okay, we've got yellow, I mean orange and blue over here. Now just move this orange towards the orange side. Okay, now blue comes on the right side. So it's another formula. Now I'll tell you the right formula. I'll just recite it, write it down. Okay. Up, right, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. Okay, so just do the formula. If, if, uh, you guys might be knowing right how to do it. So I'm, I'm doing fast, okay? Since a blue comes to the right. Uh, and if you, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's start. I'm not doing it really fast because I just want you to understand also. Okay, now we've finished it. And now just look for another color. Just keep looking for the colors. Till you finish, see, we've finished the whole thing like this. Like, till you finish the whole thing, you need to just look for colors, okay? So then just do it. Okay, so as you can see, we have finished this, we have finished this, and we have finished this, and we have finished this. So we have finished the whole thing. Just keep doing the formulas. I just, uh, so you can do it, okay? Now the next, uh, now on your um, paper, just do this formula again. Just write it down. F, R, U, R prime, U, F, okay? So this is the next formula. For that, um, you, if, uh, this formula you need to use it to make a cross over here with one more additional uh, box. Okay. So for that, just do the formula. Oops, sorry. 
so when you keep doing the formulas uh, you get the whole thing yellow like this okay so just it, i mean the i said a formula right now right so that is uh, just keep doing it and then you get the whole thing like this this uh, keep um, okay and then the next uh, next there's a next formula uh, just uh, grab your uh, paper and then just write it down it's r f r prime b2 r f prime r prime b2 r2 u prime okay so let's just do it um okay i'm not doing it really fast cuz i don't want to um, i mean yeah. <sighs> I, I as I said, it's a little greasy, so it's kind of hard to do it. Uh, okay. Now, see, uh, you've got. Have you? If you ever get a uh, three same thing in any anywhere, just move it. Uh, so you've got completed one side. Okay. See now, if how many sides have you completed? One, two, three. Oh my God, this is amazing. You are really fast. Okay. And. Now, as we have come, uh, we have come here to this side. Just keep this side at the back. Okay. Now three more sides. Just, just that one of the one piece is exchanged. Okay. Now the next formula is there's one more formula. This is the last and final formula. Don't worry. So this formula is F two U L R prime F two L prime R U F two. It's really easy. Okay. Just think like a song and then just memorize it. It's really easy. Just work it like keep it keeping it at the back. Just do the formula. Team, uh, boom! Isn't it so much? It's so much fun, actually. Just it is. Whoa! We finished it! Yay! Oh yeah! Way to go! So it's a lot of fun. If it's really, it's a really great thing. If you actually uh, can solve so the Rubik's cube because. It's one of the toughest and the challenging and the most appreciated thing in the world. So don't just uh, ignore this video. Just try practicing so much that you get to do in thirty seconds. Okay, those videos was like those videos of like thirteen min thirteen minutes or something. But you get to do it in thirty seconds if you keep practicing it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.